Alina, can you believe it's been 10 years since we graduated from college? Time really flies, doesn't it? It sure does, Shintz. So, what's been going on in your world these past years? Any big plans or dreams you've been chasing? Oh, you have no idea. I've been thinking a lot about where I want to be in the next 10 years. I've got this vision of creating a company that combines technology and environmental sustainability. I want to make a real impact on the world. That sounds ambitious, Shintz. Do you have a concrete plan for how you're going to achieve that? Absolutely! I've been researching and networking, trying to gather the right resources and connections. I want to start small, maybe with a startup that focuses on developing eco-friendly technologies. Eventually, I hope to expand and influence larger corporations to adopt sustainable practices. That's quite a mission you've set for yourself. But you know, Shintz, it's not always easy to change the world. Have you considered the challenges and obstacles you might face along the way? Of course, Alina. I know it won't be a walk in the park, but I believe in the power of determination and innovation. Plus, I've got this burning passion to make a difference. I can't just sit back and watch the world face environmental challenges without doing something about it. Well, you've always had that fiery spirit, Shintz. I, on the other hand, have been focused on climbing the corporate ladder, securing a stable job, and building a comfortable life. Predictable, maybe, but it's a path that provides security. And that's perfectly fine, Alina. We all have our own paths and priorities. But can you imagine the impact we could have if everyone followed their passions and worked towards something greater than themselves? You sound like you're on a mission to inspire a revolution, Shintz. But tell me, how do you plan on balancing this grand vision with the realities of life, like bills, responsibilities, and unforeseen challenges? I've thought about that too, Alina. I believe that with careful planning, dedication, and a supportive team, I can navigate through those challenges. Besides, the satisfaction of knowing that I'm contributing to a better future will outweigh any temporary hardships. Fair enough, Shintz. It's good to see you so passionate about your goals. Just remember to stay grounded and adaptable. Life has a way of throwing unexpected curveballs, and it's essential to be prepared for them. Thanks for the advice, Alina. I know it won't be easy, but I'm willing to take the risks. What about you? Where do you see yourself in the next 10 years? Well, unlike your grand vision, I'm more inclined towards a stable and predictable future. I see myself climbing the corporate ladder, maybe even reaching a leadership position. Stability, financial security, and a work-life balance are my priorities. That sounds like a sensible plan, Alina. It's important to choose a path that aligns with your values and priorities. Have you considered any specific industry or company you want to work for? I've been eyeing a few opportunities in the tech industry. With the way things are evolving, it seems like a promising field for growth and stability. But I'll be sure to choose a company that aligns with my values and offers the work-life balance I seek. So, you're not completely immune to the allure of technology and innovation, are you? Well, I may not be aiming to change the world, but I can certainly appreciate the conveniences and advancements technology brings to our lives. Hey Karthika, I was thinking about something interesting today. You know, the age-old debate, dogs or cats? What's your take on it? Oh, that's always a fun topic. Well, you already know where I stand, I'm definitely Team Cat. There is just something about their independence and mysteriousness that I find intriguing. What about you? Team Dog, all the way. Dogs are loyal, loving, and always excited to see you. Plus, they make fantastic companions for outdoor activities. I can't imagine life without my furry friend. Fair enough. But I love how cats are low maintenance. They don't need constant attention, and their purring is so soothing. Besides, you don't have to take them for walks in the rain. True. But think about the joy a dog brings when they fetch a ball or learn a new trick. 
They are like perpetual toddlers, spreading happiness wherever they go. Cats might be more independent, but they don't match the sheer enthusiasm of a playful pup. I get that. Cats may not be as overtly enthusiastic, but their calm demeanor is a source of comfort. Plus, the way they need and purr can be therapeutic. Dogs can be a bit too high energy for some people. True, but that energy is infectious. It encourages you to be active and adds excitement to your daily routine. Plus, the loyalty of a dog is unparalleled. They become a part of your family, always there to comfort you. Cats can be just as loyal, you know. They form deep bonds with their owners and show affection in their own way. And the best part, you don't need to worry about them knocking you over with their enthusiasm when you come home. Fair point. But I still think the playful antics of a dog make life more colorful. Whether it's a game of fetch or a long walk, they make each day an adventure. And cats make life more serene. Their presence is like a calming force, and their quirky behavior adds a touch of elegance to any home. Looks like we're at an impasse here. Team dog and team cat both have their unique charms. Maybe it all boils down to personal preference? Agreed. Let's just appreciate the fact that we're lucky to have such wonderful companions in our lives, whether they have wagging tails or graceful whiskers. Absolutely. Our furry friends bring so much joy and love, regardless of their species. Absolutely. Our furry friends bring so much joy and love, regardless of their species.